take something back that I said about the ramen app, about how it was quite possibly my least favorite. Um, I had not yet met the Netflix navigator. So um, if you have been banging your head against the wall trying to get this one figured out, uh, I joined you in that. Um, the directions are terrible. Um, the intention, I think, is very good, but uh, very unclear to directions. They throw some stuff at us that we've never seen before. So I'll do my best to walk you through it. Um, also, when I run the test version here, I did it a moment ago, um, the quote unquote working example does not really even work. Um, I chose musicals from 2000 to 2005 and it pops up the Pelican Brief. Now I could be wrong. There could be a musical called the Pelican Brief from that time frame. But what comes to mind for me is the mid nineties thriller based on a John Grisham novel with Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington. So I'm not quite sure that this works as intended. And then I click it again and it's like, it's always going to be the Pelican Brief. Um, so at the end of the day, when we get this built, if it doesn't work right, uh, it looks like the original creators here um, didn't get it working either. So this prototype um, didn't really work. And maybe perhaps because it's a prototype, it's not fully functioning, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, that said, let's uh, dive in and try to ease the pain as best we can. Um, due to the complexities and things I'm gonna have to explain, I'm gonna uh, break these videos down into smaller segments. So this video is just gonna cover the first step um, and then I'll kind of piece it together from there. So um, hopefully also for those students that just hit a wall on a certain level, you don't have to watch the entire 30 minute video. You can just find what you need. Um, so jumping into part two here, and I can't remember if I'd already tinkered with it or not. I'm just gonna go to start over. Um, because these directions are not uh, clear. So we're going to skip the story about um, the ramen because I just clicked the ramen and not the Netflix navigator. Um, so it looks like I just cleared my code for the ramen. So good thing I've already done that video. Um, so let's go start over with the Netflix navigator. Okay, so again, we've got a story for Apple Ever After that's fantastic, but let's get to what we really need to do. All right, it tells us create a function rotate dial that rotates the dial image element in the app. That's done for us. Um, if we go to design view, we can see this is the dial button right here. So that is an image and we're going to manipulate it to make it rotate. Um, then they say add the argument containing the degree of rotation to the global variable dial rotation. I'm assuming I, I'm the type of person I take things very literally. So we're assuming this lives inside the rotate dial function. Um, but adding the argument containing the degree, that is just worded very awkwardly. Um, so what I'm reading that as, first of all, um, well, one, the parameter needed is the degree of rotation. We'll get to that in a second. So let's go ahead and scroll down to rotate dial. Random rotation. Okay, we have a parameter there. Um, so I'm going to leave that. I'm assuming that is the parameter, um, the degree of rotation. Add the argument containing the degree of rotation. So we have a variable global. It's created up top called dial rotation. Um, so this is, I think, what they're trying to say is make it rotate how much you want it to each time that button is clicked. So we're going to update that variable dial rotation. And I'm going to do this so it just spins because I remember using TVs like this and you do spin them. They don't just randomly jump around. So we're going to make it a little bit more realistic looking. We're not going to give it a random value per se. We're going to make it, um, rotate in a pattern. Uh, so we're going to do dial rotation is going to get dial rotation plus and let's say let's start out with about 30 degrees and see how that works. Okay. So rotate dial, we updated the dial rotation, then it says use set style. This is just thrown at us out of nowhere. Um, they don't tell you this unless you are a very, very 
um, tedious, or not te this is tedious, um, very thorough. If you come down here, they actually tell you, oh, you have to put that in quotes. Um, oh, that's what you do. Um, how you're supposed to get that from that um, anyway. So we're going to put in quotes dial image because that is the, um, the element that we want to change. And then the string is the string that was just created. Okay. So now rotate dial, it's still saying it hasn't been called yet. But if we come down here in this own event, technically it is called. Um, so where it says parameter needed here, um, that's where we have to plug something in as well. So where it says rotate dial, um, add the argument containing the degree of rotation to the global vari variable. Um, so we need to add a parameter right here each time this is called. Um, so what I'm actually going to do and see if this works even though it may break it um, because we have a variable called dial rotation and it's going to update I'm actually going to put the value stored in dial rotation and when I click it multiple times I'm hoping it's going to um, change so we see that I click it and it's spinning and it's kind of going in an orderly fashion. Um, I like that a lot better than just randomly turning. Uh, those of you uh, that are students watching, go ask your parents or your grandparents. Uh, they'll tell you all about dials like this. Uh, I remember an old TV I had that actually had two of them. Um, it was like a multiplier. You had your like one through 10 channels up here and then all the other ones on a separate dial. Um, so a little lesson about old TVs. Um, so I like this better than the random rotation. Um, if you're a student and you're being asked to do the random rotation, what you would actually do, I believe, is right here, instead of giving it a constant kind of updated, I would just change the dial rotation to a random number. Um, and in that case, you know, I'm thinking of a circle. I would do 0 to 360. I'm going to reset and run and now I click it and it's kind of just all over the place. So depending on what your preference is, I don't like that. I like the way I had it. So I'm going to control Z a few times um, and I'm going to leave it there. Um, so there we go. We have got the rotate uh, dial function set as best we can at this point. Um, I'm going to close out this video here and be back with an update for the next level.